This is the guitar lesson for Jack and Diane by John Mellencamp, the easy way and the correct way. Make sure your guitar is in standard E tuning. All right. And the intro of the song starts off like this, okay? We want to make, here's an A chord, this is a variation of A. So take your ring finger, put that on the seventh fret D string. Middle finger, take that, put that on the sixth fret G string. Take your pointer finger and put that on the fifth fret B string, okay? Just like this. Okay, I'm strumming through the D string all the way through the E, so those four strings, okay? That's the first chord you gotta know. Second chord you gotta know is take these two fingers off and slide down with your ring finger right there down to the sixth fret on the D string, okay? So ring finger on the sixth fret on the D string. Then we take our middle finger, we put that on the fifth fret on the B string. Take your pointer finger, put that on the fourth fret on the G string, okay? You only strum those three strings, okay, for the second chord. All right, and you gotta know your D, and that's, this is the intro, okay? So the intro goes, I'll play it very slow for you. All right, so we strum through these four strings on the first chord. We go to the second chord, we strum through those three strings. Then we go back to the first, then back to the second. Now we play a D, mute it, and now you go down, up, down, up on the D string. All right, pause, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's what it should sound like. All right, so down, up, down, up. All right, that's the intro of the song. The next part of the song that I'm going to show you is this part, and this is the verse, okay? The verse into the pre chorus, let's say. So now remember this A bar chord that I showed you before and we played this variation? All right, now all I want you to do is bar your pointer finger so it touches both the fifth fret on the E and the B string, okay? So remember your ring fingers on the seventh fret D string, your middle fingers on the sixth fret G string, and then your pointer finger is going to bar both the uh, E and B string on the fifth fret. So that's the first chord you gotta know for the verse, okay? The second chord you gotta know for the verse is take, make a D, move it up to the fourth and fifth fret. That's the second chord. The third chord is your D, and that's it, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to play the verse. The verse goes like this. This is it really slow. Okay? So let's play that A. And we're gonna we're gonna go two down strokes, but all, two down strums I should say. On that second down strum, I'm taking my pinky and I put that on the seventh fret on the E string. Okay, so I go off and I put it on. All right, so down off. Now I put that pinky on on the second down strum. All right. Then we go down to this D shape on the fourth and fifth fret. So make a D, move it up to the fourth and fifth fret, and go. All right, so three down strums on this D on the fourth and fifth fret. Then we move down to the D chord, the regular D chord, and go. So I go down, mute, down, mute, up. Then I do another down strum. Okay, so I go. All right, that's it fast. This is what it should sound like slow. All right. Actually, what I realized what I was doing is I'm going down, mute, then on the upstroke, I, I strum it through, okay? So, down, mute down, up, strum, okay? So, and then I go back to this D on the fourth and fifth fret, and I go, all right, so I strum through it once. On the second time, I take my pinky and I put that on the fifth fret E string, and then I take it off again and I strum it again. All right, so it should go like this. Let me do that again. Whenever I slow it down, I mess myself up. So that's the first time through the verse. The second time you go through the verse, it's. Okay, so same thing on that first chord, we go. Same thing on the second chord. Now the third chord, I go. Strum through it once, then down, up, mute, and then I go. 
So I go down on the upstroke. I actually go to this fourth and fifth fret D right here. Okay, so I go. So. It's kind of hard to show slow, but I go. All right, can you see that? All right, so hopefully you could pick that up. It's kind of hard for me to explain. I'm gonna mess you guys up if I explain it because whenever I slow it down, I mess up and I don't know what I'm doing, so I gotta play it at speed. So watch that a couple times and see if you can pick up that strumming pattern when you go back to the A like that, okay? So when he goes, oh yeah, life goes on, long after the trail of living is gone. So when he plays that, it's a little bit different, okay? It's exactly what I showed you, just the order of it's a little bit different, okay? Instead of going like, He goes like this, he goes. See how he did that first line through twice? I didn't go to the, all right? So you do that and then um, at, the, at the last part he goes, long after the trail of living is gone. Oh yeah, life goes on, long after the trail. Oh, nim, nim, dum. And when he ends that, and he, right before he says rock on, that's the time when he goes. All right, and rock on. Dun, dun, dun. And that next part I'm gonna show you is this, it goes. All right, and that's what goes after the pre-chorus or chorus of the song, okay? it kind of brings you back into the verse. So what that is, is I go, I make an A by barring with my pointer finger, okay, on the second fret, you know, just your standard A, just bar it with the pointer finger. And now what you want to do is you want to hammer on, not hammer on, actually just put it on. So strum it once with nothing on there. The second time you strum through, you want to take your middle finger, put that on the third fret B string, and take your ring finger, put that on the fourth fret D string, okay? So, all right, so down, down, down. And on that second down, we're going to put these guys on, okay? So, and now I'm going to put them on and slide up. Hear that? So I went. I slid up to the fourth and sixth fret, okay? The same shape, I just slid it up two frets, okay? So, and now I go down back to where I was and I go down, up, down, mute, down, up, mute, and then I go, all right, down, down, down. And on that second down, I take my pinky and I put that on the sixth fret G string, okay? So I go, all right, then I go, same thing. All right, and I end on A that second time around, okay? So those are all the parts of the song. You just gotta piece them in there and figure out exactly where they go, okay? So I hope this lesson has been helpful to you. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Twitter. And if you haven't already, go to mysecretguitartips.guitarmedies.com and I will give you my, top secret, my personal top secret guitar tips absolutely free. So get them right now, and I will see you guys on the next guitar lesson. Thanks.